It's that time of year again. We are nearing the end of 2022 and we're all looking to make a big splash as we roll into 2023. And speaking of making a big splash, we're looking to expand our family in 2023. Are you a content creator on YouTube, but struggling to get things going? Well, I want to talk to you. Hang out to the end of the video, but let's get this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week started. Well, Boneheaded Boaters, here we go. We got another one for you. This bad boy was sitting on the bottom of the ocean. Well, now she's gonna be sitting at the bottom of a dump heap. Those commercial mariners, the stuff they see and do is absolutely wild. And it's been a while since we have one of these videos, but we're gonna focus on them commercial boys today. That's right, them seamen who are out there getting paid to get the job done no matter what the conditions are, and it's absolutely wild when you think about it. To be a commercial mariner has got to be one of the craziest, most dangerous jobs in the world. It probably takes a pretty special person to even do this. I mean, really think about it, unless you're already one of those commercial boys. When's the last time you woke up and said, you know, I think I wanna make a career change today. Let me go ahead and take a job that's gonna pay me okay, but I wanna work in one of the harshest work environments possible, traveling all around the world, being gone from home weeks or maybe even months on end, trying to solve mechanical and technical problems without any real support. When I mean real support, sure there might be other people on the boat, but I can't just go to the hardware store and pick up that new part I need when I'm out in the middle of the ocean. And if something goes drastically wrong, help could be hours, maybe even days away. Okay, so now that I say it all out loud, it does have that adventure aspect going for it a little bit. So if you're an adventurous kind of person, possibly looking for a cheap way to travel all around the world, it may be the gig for you. But for most of those people who just enjoy that office lifestyle, going into the office from nine to five, making sure you're home every night and on the weekends, eh, this is probably not your gig. But I'll bet most of you have probably thought about it at some point. If you enjoy being on the water and enjoy boating, you probably looked at this at some point and said, ah, oh, that would be a cool gig to get into. I mean, especially since commercial mariners really have been popularized in the last decade or so. Such shows as Deadliest Catch, for example, brought the commercial mariner lifestyle right into your living room. And I promise just about anybody who ever watched that show, sat there on their comfortable couch, popping Doritos into their mouth while the AC or the heat was going in the background thinking, ah, I could do that. You know it happened because greenhorns would show up on the dock with zero experience whatsoever looking for a job, all because they saw the TV show, it looked like an adventure, it looked exciting, the guys were making decent money. But what we really learned from that show is it is a whole lot harder than it looks. So many of them flew up to Alaska and we would watch them fail within the first few days of even being on the boat because that commercial mariner lifestyle would hit him in the face like running into a dock. And of course, one of the things many of these greenhorns probably didn't think about when they went up there and volunteered to do this, and then after a few days, we would find them in the fetal position in a cabin somewhere, begging the captain to get off the boat, was that they couldn't get out of this. Once you stepped foot on that boat, you were along for the ride no matter what. So if you're ever really truly considering trying to get into that commercial mariner lifestyle, that is one of the things you really need to consider before you go out there and just go jump on a boat. Maybe one of the better approaches is go try and find one of those local fishing charters that do overnight two and three day charters and try that first. See if you can even handle those two or three days before you go out there and try and get a job on a big ship. Yes, I know you can't really just jump on a big ship. There are actually quite a few hurdles you have to jump through to get a job on a larger vessel, but nothing stinks more than going through those hurdles only to find out that it wasn't for you. So you might as well rip the bandaid off with something smaller first. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Adam Coolidge, Captain Mike O.D., Nick Newton, Brody Chojanaki, Calumet IS did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. And for you content creators who hung out to the end, thanks for sticking with us. Basically, what we're looking for is if you are a content creator who is struggling to get going, you are making content, but you're just not getting the traction you're looking for on YouTube, we want to talk to you and see if you're a fit to join our family of channels. Of course, if you're already making boating or fishing content, you probably are going to be a good fit, but we're not limiting it just to that. So if you're making another kind of content, don't hesitate to reach out as well. We're going to look to add five channels in 2023 to our family of channels. Currently, our family of channels has over a million subscribers, getting millions of views a month. What we're going to offer is mentorship support and try and get you on the right track to getting your YouTube channel going. Now, 
the big key to this, you have to be currently making content as it does take quite a bit of effort to get this going. And so we're looking for people who are already have that motivation and drive. You can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or email me at broncosguru, the number one at gmail.com. And let's get the conversation started. Thanks for watching guys.